Hello, my name is TTJ KFC Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today our discussion will still be on our ordinary differential equations and we are continuing the series on first order ordinary differential equations. We learned that first order ordinary differential equations are either separable or non-separable. I took you through how to solve the separable ones. We say if they are non-separable, two things happen. They are either homogeneous or non-homogeneous. Last, we learn how to solve the homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations. If you have not watched that video, please go to YouTube and look for that video and watch. Today our attention will be shifted to the non-homogeneous one. So before this video will end today, I will take you through what a non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation is, the forms they take, the two cases that may, may pop up when we are solving the non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations, how to determine each of the cases, we will solve a problem covering one of the cases, and if there is time, we will solve a problem covering the second one too. This is a very interesting discussion, so take a seat. So we we'll start things off by knowing what a non-homogeneous first order or non-differential equations are and the forms they take. So we say non-homogeneous first order or non-differential equations are equations in which the degree of each of the terms are not the same. The, the degree of each of the terms are not the same. Remember, when we're bringing homogeneous one, we say the degree of each of the terms are the same. So it's the opposite of that. So let's check. They usually take this form. This form, that's a, a1x plus b1y plus c1ds plus a2s plus b2y plus c2dy equal to zero. They usually take this form. So let's check the degree of this. The degree of this is one. The degree of this is one. But there is no variable here. That means the degree is zero. So you can see that they are not the same. The same way, the degree here is 1, the degree is here, here is 1, but the degree here is 0, since there is no variable. So they usually take this form. So first order ordinary differential equation, I usually differential equation, in which the degree of each of the terms are not the same. And they usually take this form. I hope you get that. The next thing is that we will learn the cases. We have two cases. Cases that may come out anytime we are finding problems to non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations. So, uh, the next thing is the two cases that may come out anytime we are finding solutions to non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations. So, there are two cases. Remember we said that non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation takes this form. That's the degree of each of the terms are not the same. Now, when we, anytime you, you determine that a, non, uh, a first order of non differential equation is non homogeneous, the next thing is to determine which of the cases is it. Is it case one or case two? So that's what we are coming to learn. Now, you take the coefficient of this term here, that's A2, and let the coefficient of this term here, A1, divide it. If it is not equal to the coefficient of the term of the of the y here e2 divided by the coefficient of the term of the y here that's b1. If they are not equal, then we say that is case one. Is case one. And if you divide that's a2 over a1, and it is equal to b2 over b1. If it is equal, then it is all. It is case two. So yours is to take the coefficient here of the x term here, divided by the coefficient of the x term here. If it is not equal to the coefficient of the y term here, divided by the coefficient of the y term here, then it is case 1. If they are not equal, it is case 1. And if they are equal, it is case 2. Now we have two sample uh, non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations. And we will find out whether it is case 1 or case 2. So now let's determine it. So our a1, the coefficient here, remember it's 1. Our a1 is 1. What's our a2? 
our a2 here is 4. That's the coefficient of the x10 there. And what's our b1? The coefficient of the y10 here. That's negative 2. And what's our b2? Our b2 is the coefficient of the y10 here. Negative 3. Now we divide. a2 divided by a1. That will be 4 out of 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4. b2 so our b2 over b1 will be negative 3 over negative 2. And that will be 3 out of 2. So we see that a2 over a1 is 4. And b2 over b1 is 3 out of 2. So we can say that our a2 over a1 is not equal to b2 over b1. We can conclude like that. So this is what? This is case 1. Case 1. Case 1. I hope you get that. Now let's look at the second one. What's our a1 here? It's, two, it's 1. And our a2 will be 2. Our b1 is 2. And our b2 is 4. Right? So our a2 over a1 will be 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Our b2 over b1 will be 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. So we can realize that a2 over a1 is 2, and b2 over b1 is also 2. Well, we can say that b2, a2 over a1 is equal to b2 over b1. Since it is equal, we say it's case 2. It's case 2. It's case 2. I hope you are able to determine that. So anytime you want to determine which of the cases it is, take the coefficient here of the x term here. Divided, divided by the coefficient of the x10 here. Now take the coefficient of the y10 there. Divided by the coefficient of the y10 here. If it is not equal, we know it's case 1. If it is equal, we know it is case 2. And there is a procedure of solving each of the two cases. So the next thing is that we will learn how to find solutions to the case 1. Then if there is time, we will also learn how to find solutions so come with me. So after we are able to determine that a first order ordinary differential equation is non-homogeneous, and we are able to also determine that it is case one, the next thing is that we need to make it homogeneous. When we make it homogeneous, then we'll make it separable. Remember when we're solving non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation. We said that we have to make the non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation separable before we can solve them. So, heading back to that, we have to first make the non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equation homogeneous. Then after that, we we'll make it separable. Now, how do we make it homogeneous? After you are able to determine that it is case one, that's your a2 over a1 is not equal to your b2 over b1. The next thing is that you introduce a variable x, capital X, and you let it to be equal to small x, that's this one of these x's, plus, plus h. That's you let your small x be equal to a capital X plus h. Let your small, this small x here, this is a small x, equal to a capital X plus H. Then you let your lower case letter Y be equal to upper case letter Y plus K. Now the question is, what from this H and K? The H and the K are the values of X and Y respectively after solving this equation simultaneously. That's a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. After we solve these two, that's I just pick this, is this, then this one is that. After we solve these two equations simultaneously, the value of the x becomes each year, and the value of the y becomes our key. What's the next thing? After we get the value of h and k, 
we substitute that, we substitute this equation, x, that's small x, in place of small x, we'll put this, in place of small y, we'll put this, then bam, this non-homogeneous will become homogeneous, it will become homogeneous. So the next thing is that we'll take the sample equation, then we'll go through step-by-step -step process of solving that. So there is a sample equation on the board, they say, solve the differential equation this. So no one will tell you whether it is homogeneous, non homogeneous, it is separable or non separable. You need to determine that. So automatically you know it is non separable and it is non homogeneous. Look at that, the degree of each of the terms are not the same. So it is non homogeneous. What is the next thing? If it is non homogeneous, you know two cases count out case one and case two. You have to determine which of the cases it is. So now let's determine that. Remember A1 here is 1 and our a2 remember what to be 4 our b1 is negative 2 and our b2 is negative 3 so what's the next thing i will divide the a2 by a1 that will be 4 over 1 is equal to 4 then we divide the b2 by b1 that will be negative 3 over negative 2 equal to 3 over 2 so a2 over a1 is 4 and b2 over b1 is 3 over 2. We will realize that a2 over a1 is not equal to the b2 over b1. So what is that? It is case 1. It is case 1. So after you determine it is case 1, then you follow the process of solving that. So come with me. So now we are able to determine it is case 1. What is the next thing? We we'll let our x here be equal to an uppercase letter x plus h. And we we'll let, so we we'll let that, we we'll let our y be equal to an uppercase letter y plus k. Very, very necessary. After you determine this one, this is the next thing to do. Now, what is the value of h and k? It is the values we get for x and y in solving these two equations simultaneously by equating them to zero. So we say x minus 2y plus 1 should be equal to zero. And 4x minus 3y minus 6 should also be zero. So we can solve this. x minus 2y, remember it will be equal to negative 1. Then 4x minus 3y will be equal to 6 after we transpose the 1 and the negative 6. So this is our equation 1 and our equation 2. Let's learn how to solve this simultaneously. So I want to solve this by elimination. So I'll multiply our equation 1 by 4 so that I can eliminate the x. So equation 1 by 4. So what we get? We get 4x minus 8y equal to negative 4. That's 4 times x will be 4x. Four, 4 times negative 2 will be negative 8. Then 4 times negative 1 will be 4. Equation 3. So I'll solve the equation 3 and the equation 2 simultaneously. Equation 2. What do I do? I'll subtract this equation from this one. That's equation 2 minus equation 3. So this from this is 0. This from this will be whole. Look at this. That will be negative 3 minus negative 8. That will be negative 3 plus 8, which is 5y equal to this one too that will be 6 minus negative 4 6 plus uh, minus negative 4 will be 6 plus 4 which is 10 so when we divide both sides our y will be 2 our y will be 2 now we find our x by substituting the y into any of the equations so I'll substitute into equation 1 which is y over y minus uh, x minus 2y equal to negative 1 and our y is equal to 2. So x minus 2 times 2 will be equal to negative 1. That will be x minus 4 equal to negative 1. x will be equal to negative 1 plus 4. x is what? x is 3. Our x is 3. So we can say that our x, that is the x here, will be equal to capital X. What is h? We said the h is the value of x from the simultaneous equation. 
and the value of that x is 3. So we say capital S plus 3. And our small y will be equal to y plus k. Capital Y plus K. And our K here is the value of the Y from the simultaneous equation. The value of the Y here is 2. So we we'll say that our Y will be equal to capital Y plus 2. What is the next thing? You substitute this into the place of X and substitute this into the place of Y. Then what will happen? The non homogeneous will become homogeneous system. It will become a homogeneous system. So come with me. So remember, we got the value of the h to be 3 and the value of the uh, k to be 2. So we put it in its place. Then we substitute this into the place of x and substitute this into the place of y in our non homogeneous system. Remember, we said it to become homogeneous. So let's see what happens. So in place of x, what do we put? We put x plus the place. This is a lower case letter and this is our upper case letter. So please let's learn how to differentiate, to differentiate between them. So minus 2 plus our y, that's y plus 2 plus this one, our d. Now the small s will become capital S again. Now we have plus 4 plus our x, remember it will be is still x plus 3 then minus 3 what's our y? our y is capital Y plus 2 then minus 6 plus dy is equal to 0 is equal to 0 what's the next thing? we'll try expanding we'll try expanding so let's expand this so capital S plus 3 this minus this is minus 2y Minus 4, 2 times 2 is negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 1 dx. Then we expand this to plus this will be 4x plus 12, 4x plus 12 minus 3y minus 6 minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Then minus 6 again. Our dy is equal to 0. Now let's try to rearrange them. We have x minus 2y, x minus this 2y plus 3 minus this 4 plus this 1, the capital X plus 4x minus 3y plus 12 minus 6 minus 6, the capital Y equal to 0. What are we having? We have x minus 2y. Remember that. See, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So we have the capital X. Then plus 4x minus 3y. Now let's check this one to 12 minus 6 is 6. Then 6 minus 6 is 0. So we'll be left with only 4x minus 3y. The capital Y equal to 0. Now check it. Now it becomes a homogeneous system. It becomes a homogeneous system. So this is one good aspect of uh, substituting these uh, parameters into our non-homogeneous uh, first order nine differential equation. After you substitute, it becomes homogeneous. Now remember, after you make it homogeneous, you need to make it separable. And remember that when after you determine it is homogeneous, in making it separable. We will introduce v to be equal to y over x. Check that video on the homogeneous system. So what is the next thing? Our y, on cross multiply, our y will be equal to vx. So now we are going to put, in place of y, we we'll put vx. Part of the dy. So we need to differentiate this. We learn all these things in the homogeneous system. So we differentiate. So we find dy will be equal to, remember we said this is product. So we keep V, differentiate X, the X, plus we keep the X, differentiate V, the V. So we we'll substitute Y equal to VS and the Y equal to V, the S plus X, the V into the homogeneous system. Then it will become separable. It will become separable. So come with me. 
So, remember we said we substitute the y equal to vx and dy equal to vds plus sdv into our homogeneous system. After we have made the non-homogeneous homogeneous, we substitute that into the homogeneous system to make it separable. So remember we have our homogeneous system here, so we substitute that. So in place of y, we put our vx dx plus 4, please, this is capital. Let's make it capital so that the understanding can. Capital is minus 3 vx. Remember that in place of y. Then the dy, in place of dy, we we'll put v dx plus x dv equal to 0. What's the next thing? We we'll try, we'll try to distribute the dx and the dy across. Now this time this will be x dx. This time this will be minus 2 vx dx. Plus 4x times v dx will be 4x v dx. Then 4x times that will be plus 4x squared dv. Now we'll take this one too. Minus 3 vx times v dx will be minus 3 v square x dx v square x dx the minus 3 times this will be minus 3 v x square dv equal to 0 equal to 0 please bear with me for going to the other side of the board I don't want to come here so that the understanding will not come now what's the next thing we need to group like terms we group like this all the dx together all the degrees together. So we have x dx minus 2vx dx plus 4xv or let's make it vx is the same thing. vx dx there is another dx here. So minus 3v square x dx is there any dx again? No, but we have dv here, so plus 4x squared dv minus 3vx squared dv equal to 0. Now count it to see if they are this. It's up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are, we are on the right track. Now what's the next thing? You see that all the ds, ds is common to all these things. So we factor it out. And the V2 is common to this, we factor it out. So one factor dx out, we we'll left with x minus 2vx plus 4vx minus 3v square x dx out. Then plus 4x square minus 3vx square dv out equal to 0. So what is common again? Look at it. S is common. Let's bring it out here. So S out to left with 1 here. Minus 2v plus 4v minus 3v square ds plus what is common? S square is common. We bring it out. So S square out 4 minus 3v dv equal to zero equal to zero so we can polish this these are like and so we can correct that so this will be one minus negative two v plus four v will be plus two v minus three v square dx plus s square then four minus three v dv equal to zero now we want to bring everything concerning v to dv and everything concerning x to ds so what we do we just divide both sides of this by 1 plus 2v minus 3v squared and s squared on the both side then they will go so on the both side this will go here then this will come so we have x over s squared ds plus 4 minus 3v dv over this, over this, over 
I can raise it in order of magnitude. So minus 3v squared plus 2v plus 1 equal to 0. Equal to 0. So, what can we get here? You know, x can divide the x plus, so we have 1 over x dx. I will multiply both the numerator and the denominator by negative 1 so that this negative can go. So we have plus, so now I multiply this negative. 3v will become positive 3v, then this will become negative 4 over this positive 3v squared minus 2v minus 1 dv equals to 7. Now we have made it separable. We have made it separable. What is the next thing? We integrate to get our function back. To get our function back. So after you make the non homogeneous system homogeneous, you need to make it separable in order to find a function. And that's what we did. So the next thing is we integrate to see how we solve that. Okay, so remember after the separation, this is what we have. So what's the next thing? We integrate. So we have we find the integral of 1 over x dx plus the integral of 3v minus 4 all over 3v squared minus 2v minus 1 dv and to be equal to a constant, a constant c. Remember the integral of this is simply the next. What of this? This is integration by resolving into partial fraction. So you need to first resolve this into partial fraction. So I'll pull this out and integrate first. So we have the integral of 3b minus 4 all over 3b squared minus 2v minus 1. So I will dv. I will try solving this. I will try solving this. Now if I solve this, remember this quadratic, quadratic function. So 2, 3 multiply 1, negative 1, negative 3. So 2 factors of 3. When we add, we get negative 2. We multiply, we get negative 3. So that has to be negative 3v plus v. That is negative 3 and 1. So now we factor out common what is common here? 3v is common. So 3v out. What is left? v minus 1. What is common here? 1 is there. v plus 1. Then, then okay, if, if 3v come out, if 3v come out, so this place was negative 1. It wasn't 1. So let's take care of that. So now what is common? 3v is common v minus 1 plus 1 is common v minus 1 what is common on v minus 1 so v minus 1 out then we have 3 v plus 1 so we can say that this this function that's 3 v minus 4 over 3 v square minus 2 v minus 1 will be equivalent to our 3 v minus 4 over 3 v plus 1, then v minus 1. I know you can solve this quadratic equation and resolve it into partial fraction. I know. So, but I took you through the process if you are not aware of this. So what is the next thing? We let like this to be equivalent to what? a over 3v plus 1 plus b over v minus 1. That's the next thing. So let's copy that. So we have our 3v minus 4 over, over 3v plus 1, then v minus 1, and it is equivalent to a over 3v plus 1 plus b over v minus 1. So we find the LCM here. What is the LCM? The LCM will be the 3v plus 1, then v minus 1. So this goes here to be that a bracket v minus 1 plus b. So this goes here to be b. 3v plus 1. This is very, very usual, right? So what we do, uh, we see that both the numerator and the denominator is the same. So the denominator and the denominator, the denominators are the same. So we equate the numerator. So we say 3v minus 4 is equal to a v minus 1 plus b 3v plus 1. Now we solve this. We let 
then to be cut one. When v is one, in place of v, we put one. So three times one minus four equal to a one minus one in place of v one. So plus b three times one plus one, right? So three three times one is three minus four. We minus one negative one equal to one minus one is zero times a is zero. Three times 1 is 1, plus 1 is 4. So we have 4B there. So what will be our B? Our B will equal to negative 1 out of 4. The next thing is that we let V to be equal to another variable. So let value V to be equal to 0 now. So in place of V, we put 0. So we have 3 times 0 minus 4 equal to A bracket 0 minus 1 then plus B times b bracket 3 times 0 plus 1 plus 1 so 3 minus 3 times 0 is 0 minus 4 is negative 4 so we have negative 4 there then 0 minus 1 is negative 1 times a will be negative a so that will be called negative a then this will be 0 plus 1 that will be b so plus so we'll bring our A here. Our A will be just 4 plus B. So our A will be equal to 4. What's our B? Our B is negative, negative 1 over 4. So we start we'll put it there. So that will be minus 1 over 4. Let's solve this. So this is over 1. The OCM is 4. 1 goes there 4 times 4 will be 16 minus 1. So that will be 15. So our A is 15 out of 4. So, we can say that this is our 3V minus 4 over the 3V square minus 2V minus 1 will be equivalent to our A. Our A does 15 over 4, 3V plus 1. Then minus, remember B is negative 1 over 4. So negative 1 over 4 V minus 1. So we have resolved that into partial fraction. We have resolved that into partial fraction. Remember, remember, remember we said that we are getting the integral of this. So in place of the integral of this, remember this is what we resolve into this place and we got the value of A and B. So in place of the integral of this, we we'll put that value. We we'll put our expression there. So we can say that the integral of a 3v minus 4 all over 3v squared minus 2v minus 1 dv will be equal to the integral of 15 over 4 3v plus 1 minus 1 over 4 v minus 1. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So now we'll clean that aspect of the board. Then we'll continue with the integration. Okay, so since we have 1 over 4 being constant to the 2 of them or being common, we try to pull it out. Then we integrate. So now we can have 1 over 4 bracket the integral of 15 over 3v plus 1 minus 1 over v minus 1 dv dv so 15 is also a constant remember integrating a constant is that it's not it we just we just bring it out to integrate the rest so we can bring that one out again we can bring it out so what we have we can have 1 over 4 bracket we have 15 in bracket the integral of 1 over 3v plus 1 dv. I will integrate 10 by 10 minus the integral of 1 over v minus 1 dv. I, I hope you get it. I hope you get it. Now, how do we solve this? We know that this will just be the v minus 1. So remember we said the integral of this is just in v minus 1. What of this? It will not be straightforward in 3v plus 1. No. Because remember there is a constant here multiplying. So we solve this by integration by substitution. So we let 
due to be equal to the 3v plus 1. So what we have our du over our dv is 3, right? So our du will be equal to 3dv. That's one cross multiply. Then we need dv alone. So we say our dv we divide both sides by 2, by 3. So our dv will be equal to du over 3. Over 3. So now, in place of the 3v plus 1, we we'll put u. And in place of dv, we we'll put du over 3. Then we we'll integrate. So we say the integral of 1 over 3v plus 1 dv will be equal to the integral of 1 over u, remember? Then what's our du? Our dv. Our dv is just du over 3. What do we do? We can Remember, this is 1 over 3, so we can bring it out. The integral of 1 over u, du. And what is the integral of 1 over u, du? That will be lin u, lin u. So we said 1 out of 3, lin u. And what is our u? Our u is 3v plus 1. So this will be 1 out of 3, lin 3v plus 1. So the integral of this is this. And the integral of this is, is uh, uh, lin v minus 1. So we just substitute to get our integral there. So come with me. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're here integrating this and we pull this out to integrate. So we had this. So in place of this, we substitute this. And remember the integral of 1 over v minus 1 is lin v minus 1. We are aware of that. So in place of this, we we'll put this, and in place of this, we we'll put that. So we have 1 out of 4, 15. The integral of this is 1 over 3. So 1 over 3, lean 3v plus 1, minus, what is the integral of this? That will be lean v minus 1. Now, we can polish this. So 1 over 4, bracket, 15, 3 can divide 15 to be 5. So we have 5 lean 3v plus 1 minus lean v minus 1. So we can say that our integral, remember, of the 3v minus 4 over 3v squared minus 2v minus 1 dv will be equal to this equal to 1 over 4 bracket 5 lean 3v plus 1 minus lean v minus 1 that would be it so in place of this in our integral we substitute this we substitute that so come with me okay so we find the integral of this to be this and remember we said the integral of this will be the next so in place of this, we put in S. Then in place of this, we put the whole of that. Equal to our constant, C. So let's go. So the integral of this will be lin S plus this will be this, so 1 over 4 bracket 5 lin 3v plus 1 minus lin v minus 1 equal to C. So what's the next thing? We distribute this four across, across them. We distribute. So we multiply two by four. So we have four lin x plus five lin three v plus one minus lin v minus one equal to four c. If four multiplies two, if four multiplies two. So, this is our system that we have. Remember, we don't have V in the initial solving. And we said V is equal to Y over X, if you remember very well, if you remember. So, in place of V, we put Y over X. So, we have 4 lin X plus 5 lin 3 Y y over x yeah, in place of v i put that plus 1 minus lean y over x minus 1 equal to 4c 
force. Go to force. Also, remember this is will be the homogeneous system. So we have to go to the non-homogeneous system. And remember, we said that our small s is equal to capital X plus 3. Is here. Is here. Look at it. Small s equal to capital X plus 3. And our small y equal to capital Y plus 2. So we need, remember, we have capital Y, capital S in them. So we need to replace them by the small y. Small x and a small y. So we make the capital X the subject. So we say x minus 3 will be equal to capital X. So we make the capital X the subject. So we bring the 3. So small x minus 3 will be capital X. Then our small y minus 2 will be capital Y. So in place of capital Y, we put the y minus 2. In place of capital X, we put x minus 3. So we have 4 lin. There is a capital X here, so we put x minus 3 plus 5 lin 3. There is a capital Y one there. What do we put? We put y. So remember, this will be small. Let me do it well so that we can differentiate. So y minus 2 over x, x minus 3 plus 1 for this place. Minus lean, lean. What's our capital Y? Y minus 2. What's our capital X? X minus 3. Minus this one equal to 4C. Equal to 4C. So we just try to polish them. So we have 4 lean x minus 3 plus 5 lean. If this multiplied is get 3y minus 6 over x minus 3 plus 1. Remember, this one is not be affected by the x minus 3. Look at how it is. It's not. So, minus lean y minus 2 over s minus 3 minus minus 1. Let me remove the bracket so that the understanding will be equal to 4, 4 C, 4 C, not 4 K. So, we find the LCD and find the LCD. Then we go. So let me recopy that. We have 4 lin x minus 3 plus 5 lin 3y minus 6 over s minus 3 plus 1 minus the lin y minus 2 over s minus 3 minus 1 equal to 4c equal to 4c so i said we find the lcd so we have 4 lin x minus 3 plus 5 lin okay so we find that the lcm is s minus 3 so s minus 3 will multiply that so we have 3y minus 6 s minus 3 multiplied that will still be s minus 3 so plus s minus 3 this time around all over s minus 3 then minus lean. So we have y minus 2. This will multiply that. So we have minus s minus 3. All over s minus 3 equal to our 4c. So we polish it. So we have 4 lean s minus 3 plus 5 lean. So this will be 3y plus s. Minus is minus 3 will be minus 9 over s minus 3 minus lean y minus 2 minus x, c minus x plus 3 all over s minus 3 equal to our uh, 4c. So let's polish that. So we have 4 lean x minus 3. Plus 5 lean 3y plus x minus 9 
over x minus 3 minus linear. So we have y minus x. Negative 2 plus 3 is plus 1. Over x minus 3 equal to our 4c. Equal to our 4c. So, since I have x minus 3 here, okay? Okay, first, let's try to bring this here. Let's try to bring Remember the law of indices. We said that if we have log s exponent n base a, it will equal to n log s exponent n. So this is like this. So we'll bring it back to this. We'll bring it back to that. So we'll rewrite it. So this will be lean s minus 3 exponent 4 plus lean 3y minus s minus 9 all over s minus 3 exponent 5 minus lean y minus s plus 1 over s minus 3 equal to our 4c. So now I want to bring this here. I want to bring this here. So I'll have lean s minus 3. Please, this is this is not lengthy. I'm just trying to make sure you understand everything. So minus lean y minus s plus 1 over s minus 3 to so this here plus lean 3y minus s minus 9 all over s minus 3 exponent 5 equal to 4c equal to 4c so remember the law of indices says that when two logarithms are subtracting with a common base what do we do? We, we divide them. So we can rewrite this to as lean s minus 3 exponent 4 divided by y minus x plus 1 then s minus 3. If you, if, if you get that very well. Plus our lean 3y minus x minus 9 over s minus 3 or exponent 5 equal to 4c. So remember when it is dividing we reciprocate. So we don't have a problem. So we have lean s minus 3 exponent 4 times let me use dots s minus 3 over y minus x plus 1 plus lean 3y minus x minus 9 over x minus 3 equal to 4c. Look at that. This is having a power 1. Remember indices. When two powers, when two indices are multiplying with the same base, we add the exponent. So this will be 1. We add it to this one to become 5. So let's copy that to this side of the board so that we continue. So we have lean s minus 3. So that will become lean s minus 3 exponent 5. Remember that. Remember that. So remember one year we add to this four to become five. To become five. So we have that over our y minus x plus one, then plus lean three y, three y minus x minus nine over x minus three all exponent 5 equal to our force. So, remember we can rewrite this. So we have lean x minus 3 exponent 5 over y minus x plus 1 plus lean. We can separate it. So, 3y minus x minus 9 exponent 5 over s minus 3 exponent 5 equal to 4c. So when two logs are added, we multiply them off. So we have lean s minus 3 exponent 5 over y minus s plus 1 times 3y minus x minus 9 over s minus 5 exponent 5. Look at this. This will deal with that. We'll deal with that. So this is 3. This is 3. And it's equal to 4c. So this will divide us. 
What is left? We are left with our lean. A very simple form. 3y minus x minus 9 all over y minus x plus 1 equal to 4c. So what will I do? I will just let the whole of my 4c to be equal to another constant. To another constant. So let my 4c to be equal to a linking. So that the whole system will change to link. So you have link. 3y minus x minus 9 all over y minus x plus 1 equal to lean k. Since we have lean on both sides, the, the, the logarithm should be the same. So we have 3y minus x minus 9 all over y minus x plus 1 equal to k. What we, we can cross multiply. We can, so we have our 3y minus x minus 9 equal to k bracket y minus x plus 1. Then this becomes our general solution. Our general solution. Please try to play over the video and go through the steps one by one and you get a concept. We'll end it here. The next time, we'll try to solve the non-homogeneous system in case the type 2 happens. Until then, bye-bye.